Okay, fabric has been attached all the way around. Put two coats of glue on the wood. Put the fabric on the, the wing. <clears throat> Lined it up. Shot under here. You can see how the line goes all the way down through there. This is the bottom of the wing, of course. When they put the top, flip it over and do the top, then the seam will come down here below the leading edge and it will, it will be hid. So, anyway, uh, it's attached all the way around. Then I trimmed it off, and you, as you can see, you take the iron and just work it, and it'll shrink up into this tight turn here. And then you just go all the way down. Now this here hasn't been done yet because I want to wait till I flip the wing over. I'll go ahead and tighten up the fabric. And then I'll go ahead and then cut these, these pieces of fabric out right here. And then this will go and attach underneath here. Okay. Um, so, as you can see, it's all attached. The strut attached fittings have not been cut through yet. They recommend that you... Go ahead and tighten your fabric up, and then once they get the fabric all good and tight, then I'll cut these, and it'll go down over these. They'll stick up through the fabric, and then I'll make patches and double up on the round these fittings here. So, this is the root. See the same thing. Like this right here. Like I said, the fabric's been attached with two coats of glue, and then you come back with a 50 percent 50-50 mix of glue and uh, MEK mech, and then you just brush it in. I always use my finger, probably not supposed to, but I use my finger and rub it through, make sure it comes up through the fabric and adheres to it. So the ribs have been done also, but those aren't going to get done uh, actually attached to the ribs until the fabric's been stretched. That's the last thing you do is attach the fabric down here. Two coats of glue has been applied to these as well. So, I'll get back. Okay, so now I've got the, I had the wing turned over. Now you can see this is the top of the wing. So, I had to turn the wing over so I can wrap the covering from underneath around. Had to notch around all of the, the ribs. You can see where I put the doublers in there, top and bottom. To hopefully keep the leading edge or the trailing edge rather from pulling away once you tighten the fabric up it pulls it twist on this down and that's what was happening it pulls the uh, trailing edge here away from the ribs also uh, when you go to once you put the glue on this two coats and then you go to do this you got to do this right here first before you do this up here and the reason for that is when you're building the wing and the aileron, you cut the aileron <clears throat> loose, you have to make a wooden, a round wooden sanding block. You put in a drill and you go from one end to the other and it puts a concave surface right here. And that way the knuckle, you get a good, good fit. Uh, so anyway, you got to do this first. And then once you get this attached into that curve, then you do this here. So, all, right. all the way down, I'm ready to flip the wing over and do some tightening of the fabric. Okay, there's the wing. Still have to do, uh, still have to cut my strut attach fittings here. Cut them through, then put a patch around that. And that one over there. So. And then on my final heat, then I'll go back and attach the ribs to the fabric right here. As you can see, I've already cut these out. And as you can see, now that I've cut them out, it has loosened the fabric up. So what I'm about to do is take my small modeling iron and lightly shrink this a little bit just to get these wrinkles out. And I've made these patches, and after I get the wrinkles out, then I'll go ahead and put my glue on here. I'll put my patch on. I'll take a pencil and mark my area. And then uh, once the glue dries, 
I'll stick this on there and then run my 50-50 mix of MEK and uh, glue and then I'll do a final shrink on all of it. So. All right, guys, it's done. The bottom of the wing is completely done. Uh, even went back over the ribs. Now they're attached after my final shrink. That looks good and tight. There's my patches around my strut fittings. It's done. So now I'm ready to flip the wing over and cover the top and put some paint on it.